but what else what kind of warning signs do dentists normally uh, also see other than you know of course when they have problems with their teeth and they can't you know um, they mostly come when they're in i'm sure in a lot of pain when they come to right. a dentist but uh, i'm sure that when you're looking at a regular somebody you know a, a tooth decay or something like that right you might find things that so one was we mentioned the head and neck but are there other things that you can also see that yeah. definitely that's a very good question see uh, uh, now uh, it's not nowadays but we are taught uh, like the dental curriculum teaches us this way that we also need to understand that we have a oral systemic link now when you say the very two very common things which anybody uh, i think uh, we experience when we have we, when we have this 32 <laughs> 32 things in our mouth that is uh, some gum problems okay so for example i'll give uh, let's move away from cancer but the very common common disease uh, i think uh, which is very predominant in the indian society is diabetes right so for example just by seeing the condition of the gums clinically looking into it we even if the patient is unaware that he is having diabetes or not we can understand and we can tell that patient please go and do your uh, first you go and do your blood test for uh, sugar and then you come back to us so just by seeing the gums that is one part second we can also understand by seeing the oral hygiene like for example there is something called as plaque formation mostly it happens in uh, in the back tooth region as well as in the lower front tooth region if many people have it is not only about that whether you are brushing your teeth two times or not there are a lot of factors so if you have any Uh, diseases which are uh, i mean if your system is actually not going on well so that is one of the again first reflection so visibly you can see gums visibly you can see some stone like structures that is happening you might think okay i'm doing so much but still it is happening uh, okay and third thing is also called something we called as smell breath from your mouth that is in in uh, you know in uh, medically we call it as halitosis that is bad breath like when you really your you you know it's yucky too <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes uh, you feel like puking but then these are the uh, very visible and very common things with which we can identify uh, you know debilitating or chronic diseases uh, like like i said that uh, diabetes yes and the third thing that is uh, something is related to smell that is breath our breath from our mouth and medically we term it as halitosis so anything that is going wrong inside your system uh, just by seeing your gums the condition of your tooth as well as like whether there is you have a very bad oral hygiene and the breath because uh, it like for example i'll tell you one example here i like to add people who have uh, grd that is gastroesophageal uh, reflux disease so whatever they do even they use mouthwashes and all they will have halitosis in the early morning when they get up or any time when they get up they will have uh, a b- very bad halitosis bad breath because that is not that they are not maintaining uh, their oral health they might be very good at that but still it happens because now this is a reflection when a person is not knowing which is something um, away from the normal okay uh, like this very small simple things we can actually identify uh, chronic diseases very well when it comes to the dental professionals yeah